capers. We're pretty much all familiar with capers. These are flower buds from Flinders Rose or the caper bush. And they're just packed in salt and vinegar to make a pickle. We use capers in Caesar salad. Uh, it's often used to make tartar sauce and just generally used as a little pickle on charcuterie boards and, and in other dishes. Well, if you don't live in the Mediterranean, but you live in the Northeast, you can make your own capers using oxeye daisy buds. These little oxeye daisies are about the same size as a caper. And when we pickle these, they're just as delicious. You need to go out and you need to find some fresh, clean daisies. They generally bloom at, at the end of the spring, early summer. Uh, you want to get them before they're fully bloomed so you can get the unopened flower buds. There are lots of places where we can find daisies, but we want to make sure that we harvest our daisy buds from a clean spot. So oftentimes they'll grow along train tracks, but train tracks are not the cleanest place to harvest any food. You can also find daisies often along roadsides, but again, roads can be dirty places. And unless it's an untraveled road, then I would avoid using roadside as well. And also you can find daisies growing alongside trails in public parks. But these areas are not recommended for foraging because of dogs. People walk their dogs in these areas and the dogs will do their business on the fringes where the daisies grow and other things grow. So we generally avoid that area as well. For these daisy buds, I found a really nice spot in our community garden where someone has planted some daisies and you just collect the little buds and clean them up. And then we're just going to add a little pickle brine to them and pack them away. Super simple. Let me show you how it goes. So I've put my daisy buds into an appropriate size jar. I've got this one filled right to the brim and I've pushed these in to pack them down. So I'm good with that. And then I've got my boiling hot pickle brine and I'm just going to pour that over until it's filled right up to the top, thusly. And then I'm just going to put my lid on here. Now, if I wanted to save these and have them for months, say I was doing a lot of them, then I would now hot water bath them and then they would be shelf stable and I could leave them on the counter. These ones I'm going to use up in the next four to six weeks. So I'm just going to put them directly in the fridge and they'll be safe there. There's too much vinegar and acidity and salt in this brine for these to rot quickly. It'll take a long time for them to go bad. These will be ready to eat probably in, I would say three to four days to a week. You want that vinegar to absorb into the flower buds and get deeply in there to add the flavor and that pickly crunch to it. But after that, try one and see what it tastes like. And then they're ready to go. Put that on a Caesar salad, use that wherever you would use capers, and maybe in some places where you wouldn't use capers. If you thought this was a neat recipe, think about subscribing and hitting the like button because there's more where this came from.